Something's wrong. That little twerp is scared of her own shadow. You are too young to have learned to use your powers. And such a tragedy, you won't have time. Recall the others. Get ready, guys. We've got them now. We've got them? What do you think scared them off? Simple, Sheila. They took one look at my great strength. One look at my grim and one look at your grilled face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Uni? Those wolves must have chased her into the forest. They went this way. Then we're going that way, too. They went this way. We're going that way. How come nobody ever asked me which way I would go? <laughs> no, this is great. This way is just fine. If you knew how, a unicorn can teleport only once a day. Excellent. Your friends are following just as I hoped. Forget it. I'm not playing pincushion just to save some dumb unicorn. Who'd you say is dumb? Now, now, young ones. Yeah, but Eric won't help us save you, man. Huh? It's Dungeon Master. Who's that guy with the wolves? Who cares? He's got Uni. He is the wizard Kellick. Beware, barbarian. He has much more than the unicorn you love. Ah, oh, that little weirdo won't get away with his rules this time. I'm writing down every dumb word he says. Well, who's that big unicorn? That was Silvermane, the leader of the last unicorn herd. How'd he disappear like that? His magic horn. It gives him the power of teleportation, like all of his kind. But remember, the fate of one is shared by all. I got it. The fate of the magic. No, no, wait. The horn of fortune? No, no. The telephone is shared by all? That's not right. Oh, Dungeon Master, could, could you repeat? Oh, no! Yep, he's gone. Which leaves us with a thorny problem. Oh! I'll smash through them. I think I have a better idea. Ooh, Hank's got a better idea. Wait, 
Hey, wait a minute. Stay down and keep quiet. It's okay. I don't think he saw us. The young fools. There, there, little one. It will soon be over. No! She's okay, Bobby. She's okay. But where's she taking her? Teleportation, the ultimate power over all matter. You shall give a part of it to me, and soon it shall all be mine. All will kneel to Kellick. Even Venger will call me master. That guy's gonna be the new Venger? Not a chance. That guy's cracked. Cracked or not, he's got uni. Let's double back and get down there before... that secret valley of the unicorns place we gotta get there first and warn them no i'm not going anywhere till we help uni bobby this may be the only way we can help her well remember what dungeon master said the fate of one is shared by all well maybe oh i guess these guys could lead us to the valley if we can convince them to trust us oh, oh. <laughs> i think we've got him convinced <laughs> Right. 
gratitude for you. And after all we've done for him. Shh, be quiet and don't move. We're not scaring him, they are. Oh, no. Thank you all. I knew those unicorns would lead you here. No, the last three are mine. Sometimes your worst enemy can be your strongest ally. You writing all this down, Cavalier? I'll give you something to write down. Get me out of here! There it is. Kellogg's probably there already. Come on, there isn't much time. Yeah, and soon he'll be even stronger than... Venger. Hey, am I brilliant or what? If you're so brilliant, pull something useful out of that hat. Like about 8,000 Marines. I'll do better than that. Don't you guys remember, Dungeon Master said sometimes our strongest ally is our worst enemy. Our worst enemy is Venture. I'll just call him here and... You what? No, no! The, the, the Dungeon Master said sometimes, Presto, sometimes. That doesn't mean now. Hey, there's no time like the present. Abracadani, hang on. invaded the castle of Enger, and the penalty is... Wait, I, I, I'm here to help you. Help me? What trickery is this? No, no trick, honest. You gotta stop Kellogg. You got a big thing with 2011 hands, and swipes horns off the unicorn and says he can even beat you at... Stop! Kellogg, you say? Now, begin at the beginning. <laughs> is even dumber than Presto's idea. And where did he go anyway? Shut up and do it! Now! Easy, boy! Just what is this little trick supposed to get us? It's our fault Silvermane's here. Maybe this trick gets him back. And maybe it gets us zapped by Kellek. It does indeed. noble effort also your last now you shall trouble me no longer come where you guys hear where i've been Let's get out of here. No way. These little guys are too weak to run. They need 
your horns back, now! Just what are you gonna do, glue them on? Nope, magic! Abra, come here! All the horns appear! Guess it takes more magic to put them back on than to take them off. You dummy, Dungeon Master said you only have to replace one! And I quote, the fate of one is shared by all. <laughs> Stuff that in your hat. Much as I hate to say it, Mr. Mouth is right. Okay, Abra Karuni, give the horn back to Uni. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Quiet, listen. sinking back down. Of course, with Kelegon, his castle is going with him. And now, the unicorns are mine. What a rat! What a creep! What's the fastest way out of here? Get on the unicorns! They can teleport us out! goes one happy little unicorn. Yep, leaving behind one unhappy little boy. Bobby, we have to go. We've got to keep looking for the way home. I won't leave without Uni. Bobby, what if she wants to stay? But I love Uni. She's gotta come. She's just gotta. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Do you think Uni will really stay with Presto? Shh. Cut it out. Come on, get out of here. For the last time, we... Sheila, this is all your fault. I didn't bring these little puppies. Dungeon Master said they'd grow up to make great guardians for the unicorns. Can I help it if they love your feet? of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons will return after these messages. The fort is back. The rebels won't tire till they see the last of the Empire. And Kenner's there with Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. The next prisoner, Gamorrean guard. Gladly. C-3PO, New Gamorrean Guard, and Jabba the Hutt, they set each so separately. Mr. Hutt, you've captured my friend. Bring him and keep me instead. That's a sorry tale, but this tale make you sorry. -er. Jabba the Hutt, play set, and other action figures each so separately. From Star Wars, Return of the Jedi Collection, new from Kenner. This boy is beginning to slow down. Why'd he run out of energy so soon? He can fuel up. What? With a good breakfast. Cheerio! Mm. Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which have almost no sugar. When you fuel up and with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you going! Cheerio! And now, back to Dungeons and Dragons.
Looks like we're eating berries again. Hey, look! I caught something! Help me pull it in! Oh, boy! Filet of soul! Or maybe shrimp cocktail! Or better yet, come here! It's bigger than I thought! Maybe lunch for seven? Monsters bite is poisonous. I hope there's a cure. Come on, we've got to find Dungeon Master. Hank, sis, I I gotta rest. He's got fever. What do we do now? I don't suppose there's a drugstore around here. No, ah. Cavalier, there is not. Ah. Dungeon Master. You've got to make Bobby well. I wish it were that easy. But this is nature's doing, and I'm afraid my, my magic cannot undo it. It requires a natural remedy. There must be something we can do. We can't let him get worse. The only cure is the foot of a yellow dragon. Oh, great. What are we supposed to do? Waltz up to a yellow dragon and ask to borrow his foot? Eric, shh. Where do we find the yellow dragon? To the north, in the garden of Queen Zin. Oh! 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 He's gone again? Come on, we're heading north. Yeah, well, I hope there's something to eat in this garden. I'm still starving. Forget about your stomach, Eric. Let's go. Stalker, can this one survive the trial of the worm? Yes, my queen. He carries a magic weapon given him by Dungeon Master. Excellent. Bring him to me. I must have a king soon, or the spell will be broken and I will lose my throne. As you wish, Queen Zen. You sure this is the right way, Hank? I don't see a sign of dragons anywhere. I don't know, Presto, but we've got to keep looking. Well, I can't look on an empty stomach. i got to find some food. Just take it easy, Bobby. We'll find the antidote, Bobby, and have you all better really soon. Thanks, guys. There must be something edible around here. Holy cow! I must be dreaming! Hello? Anybody belong to this food here? had your chance to claim it? Yeah! Help! It's Eric! No! Oh, get away from me! Hey, quick! Get it before it gets me! No! Don't shoot! I mean you no harm! He's lying! Let him have it! He was going to steal my food! Me? No way! I was just going to borrow it! Who are you? My name is Sir Lars. Take it. I have plenty. Thanks. Let's take some of this to Bobby. 
The boy is very ill. He should not be moved. Bring him to my house. He can rest there. Oh, come on. You gonna trust a guy who looks like that? So Lars is right. I'll stay here with Bobby until you guys find the Garden of Zin. Zin? Yes. The Dungeon Master told us we could find the antidote there. Dungeon Master is wrong. You will only find evil in the Garden of Zin. You know where it is? You gotta tell us. No. But my brother is sick. If he doesn't get the antidote... Very well. Beyond the dark forest. Beyond the Valley of Smoke. That way. Be careful, Sheila. We'll return as soon as we can. That's gotta be the Valley of Smoke. But I don't see any garden. Yeah, and Solaris didn't say anything about a fork in the road. I knew we couldn't trust that creep. He's probably selling Bobby and Sheila to Venger at this very minute. You think we should go back? No, no. Always go forward. Just follow the road to the south. Well, why didn't you tell us that before? You didn't ask. Come on, let's get this disaster over with. Hang on, Eric. Don't you notice anything strange? Strange? We're walking through the Valley of Smoke looking for pickled dragon's feet? What, what could be strange? No, I mean about Dungeon Master. He's not talking in riddles. Yeah. Say, DM old buddy, uh, mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Uh, what's the name you gave me when I got the shield? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ha! It's Cavalier, you phony baloney! Well done, Cavalier. I'm pleased to see you weren't fooled by this imposter. Don't listen to him. He's the imposter. So, you want to challenge my magic? Impersonate me. Hank, wait! You might get the wrong. I'm the real dungeon master. He's the imposter. He'll destroy you. He's evil. Very clever, but it will gain you nothing. Wow! What was he? A phantom stalker, and he'll think twice about bothering you again. Tell me, Ranger. How did you know that creature was not the real Dungeon Master? You taught us to use force only to defend ourselves. That imposter had you down, but he kept coming. You learn quickly, very quickly. Which is the right road, Dungeon Master? The right road is not the left. That's the real Dungeon Master, all right. He means take the right fork, not the left. We don't have time to waste. Come on. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Sheila, I'm right here, Bobby. I'm cold. Fire needs more wood. There must be something around here I can use as a blanket. So, Lars, what's this? What would a creature, I mean, someone like you, be doing? with a king's robe and crown. They belong to someone gone now, never to return. Well? This will keep the boy warm. Thank you, Solars. I don't get it. Dungeon Master said this road would take us right to the Garden of Zin. If this was a garden, someone should definitely fire the gardener. Hey, what's the... Who knows? Let's just get... young ones? Dungeon Master, are we ever glad to see you? Get us out of here! No! It's the imposter again! I knew it all along! There's the real Dungeon Master! Your powers of observation are improving, Cavalier. Unfortunately, they still leave much to be desired. Perhaps. 
perhaps you will not survive the trial of the worm after all. All goes as planned, Queen Zen. Then the young knight will face the trial of the worm. Soon, my queen. Very soon. much about magic, but I'm no wizard. But I don't understand why you... Silence! Ask me no more! Forgive me. The spell makes me lose control. Spell? You're under some kind of spell? You can do nothing for me. No one can. Save your concern for your brother. Oh. What on earth could have dug a tunnel like this? Who cares? I just want to get out. my sleep. Yeah, it's another word. What was that? Oh no, I just figured out what dug this tunnel. Well, what? Worms. Worms? These little things? No, that big thing. This crazy world. We'll take a look at this. That must be the Garden of Zen. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's find that yellow dragon. You have survived the trial of the worm. Queen Zen requests your presence at once. I hope my servants are not rude with you. Who are you? And what do you want with us? I am Queen Zin, and I have need of a king, someone to rule my kingdom with me. I have chosen you. Me? Him? Him? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. No way. Sorry, but I'm trying to get out of this world. I don't want to settle down in it. Why not let your friends continue the search? <laughs> While you share the wealth of my throne with me. Wealth? Well, on second thought, li listen guys, if I'm gonna be trapped in this world, why not be trapped in style? But what about Bobby? Oh yeah. Listen Queen, I'll be your king, but first tell my friends where to find the yellow dragon. Our friend is sick. We need to slay the dragon and get its foot for the cure. Slay the dragon? <laughs> Follow me into the garden. The yellow dragon. And this is its foot. Thanks. You sure you want to stay, Eric? Beep's scrounging for berries every day. Come back and visit when Bobby's better. You can even bring back that creep, Salars. Salars? Follow them. See that they never reach Salars. Yes, my queen. 
Once I have my king, my spell can never be broken. Solar's place is just ahead. I hope we found the cure time. This path is forbidden to you. You may come no farther. Guess that's that, Hank. Guess so. disaster movie. Well, it's merely part of the ceremony. Continue. <clears throat> Thank you. Bobby. Yeah, just doing some gardening. Is the boy well? Yes, Sir Lars. He... <gasps> Sir Lars? Not Sir Lars. My name is Sir Lawrence, heir to the throne of Zen, until my sister's evil magic turned me into that creature. It was your tear of gratitude that broke her spell. You don't mean Queen Zen. But Eric's about to become her king. Well, at least she's beautiful. Not for long. With the spell on me broken, the one who cast it becomes its victim. Poor Eric. By the laws of this kingdom, I now pronounce you man and monster. I quit. No, it can't be. I was so close. So close. You will not reconsider, Sheila? I'm honored you asked me to be your queen. But my friends and I have to find a way back home. Well spoken, Sheila. Dungeon Master, you have seen the true person beneath his monstrous appearance. You should be proud. Speaking of which, I see right through you, Mr. Imposter. Caution, Cavalier. I am the real Dungeon Master. If you're the real Dungeon Master, then I'm a blue-nosed baboon. <laughs> a blue-nosed baboon? What a strange choice. What's so funny? So I made a little mistake. Come on, Dungeon Master, change me back. I was just... 